You'll have 15 minutes to do the questions. Please start now. The lecture's all about the lecturer. This is far different. This takes it down to the table, to the team. Students will come in very well prepared using resources that we provide to them, including videos and reading materials. They initially start off by taking a readiness assessment quiz. They do it both individually and then they do it again as a team. The most fun that I have is to watch them interact during the T-Rats, during the team sessions where they review the quiz. While the lab value tells you that it might be low, well the clinical value she's not like... You can see that they're all engaged, that they're all actively processing the information, um, that they're discussing the questions. We're used to students sitting passively in the lecture hall, whereas here they're actively engaged. And then they're given a series of application exercises. Those application exercises are case-based. So right from the get-go here, they're talking about patient cases that reinforce their learning. Let's look at question three, please. Uh, team 20. It was lecture-based before, not very interactive. The students would just sit and listen to lectures and then go off and study it later. The problem with that approach is that often students don't quite know how to apply the information. And they often have to sort of relearn it all in a clinical context. So the correct answer for three was D. So is that clear to everyone? Do we have So the hope now is that they'll see right from the inception of the curriculum why this basic science knowledge is important and how it pertains to clinical medicine and dentistry. Consider there could be a history of recent veganism or vegetarianism. Good. The correct answer is E. We have this terrific room in which teams can now work in a really functional environment that supports the team-based learning approach teaching one another and learning from one another, and then coming together centrally with all 152 students to make sure that everyone has gotten to where they need to be with a particular case. That's where the real learning happens now.